Hello everybody, this is Shore Joshi and you're watching The Grapevine. So, this is the month of January and we all are experiencing, you know, certain climatic changes or weather changes. Uh, if I have to be specific, it's getting cold outside. <laughs> Actually, have we ever thought, have you ever thought, what could be the possible reason? Why is India... Uh, experiencing such harsh weather conditions this year? Well, this is an interesting topic. And so I come to you and I bring this interesting topic to talk about. So we are going to understand in this video as to why is India shivering to this year's winters? We are going to make use of this to understand the entire concept. So this is a sort of visualization for you guys. So I just tried to make things a little simple for you. So yes, let's begin. Now before we proceed, there is one simple concept that I would like to share with you all. That is that winds over the surface of our planet, they always move from high pressure regions to the lower pressure regions, which means don't get confused. If the land is hot, if it's warm, then the air above it also warms up. And when this happens, the air rises and it creates a low pressure region. Similarly, if any surface is cool, then the air above it also cools down and thereby creating a high pressure region. And therefore, we see that whenever winds, you know, move over the planet, over the surface of our Earth, they're always moving in one direction that is from the high pressure regions to the lower pressure regions. Over here, as you can see, this is the South American continent. Uh, because of the La Nina phenomenon, the Central and Eastern Pacific Ocean uh, experiences a lot of high pressure. Here, we are gonna focus on this country, which we call Peru, because the coastal line of Peru is the region which is currently experiencing high pressure. Because the ocean currents, the uh, ocean water close to the Peruvian coastline is cool currently. Now, because it is cool, it creates uh, a lot of high pressure. Now, because there's a high pressure over here close to this country called Peru, it is looking for regions across the world to spread out to spread out and move to the lower pressure regions of our planet. Now, if we go to the other side of the planet, which we have the western part of our uh, Pacific Ocean, we see this is the region of the planet which has lower pressure. And um, we can say Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea, these are a few examples. And I think some of the South Asian, Southeast Asian countries as well. Here we see that the ocean waters warm up. Now, because the ocean waters have warmed up, the air rises and it creates a low pressure region. We have to understand that I just mentioned that the waters close to the Peruvian coast are cooler compared to the waters over here. So winds, which we call them also the trade winds, they move from the eastern Pacific Ocean, from the Peruvian coastline, all the way to Australia, New Zealand, and to the lower pressure region. But wait, we were talking about winters. I mean, why are we discussing this? Well, because La Nina phenomenon, the La Nina weather pattern, has a big role to play in uh, specifically this year's weather condition, this year's winters. Now, let me tell you how. Firstly, let's come back to our beautiful country, India. This is the Indian subcontinent over the globe that you can see the planet. Now, what happens over here is that during the months of December and January, the northern hemisphere of our planet Earth is already receiving less sunlight. It's already receiving less solar energy because it is not tilted towards the sun. And because it is receiving less solar energy, the northern part of the planet, particularly the land area, the Central Asian countries, the Northeast Asian countries are experiencing a lot of high pressure because the land is cool. And now they want to go to the lower pressure regions. Now, during the months of January and December, there is an intense low pressure existing over here, as you can see on the map. This is called the ITCZ. The ITCZ is a very low pressure region because this 
place particularly receives the most solar energy. Now, because this receives the most solar energy during the months of January and December, it has intense low pressure compared to the regions present on uh, closer to the uh, poles, closer to the Arctic. So now the high pressure region is over here on the Central Asian countries and low pressure region over the ITCZ. So winds would want to rush towards the ITCZ. So winds from the high pressure regions would want to rush towards the low pressure region, which we call the ITCZ. One thing that you need to understand that for these winds to reach the ITCZ, they will have to cross our country India. They will have to cross the Indian subcontinent and mind you these winds coming from Central Asia, these winds coming from Northeast Asia are very very cold. They are so cold that they're, that is one reason why we are experiencing harsh winters. So now that these very cold winds want to reach the ITCZ, at the same time the La Nina phase, the La Nina phenomenon that we just discussed about is active. So the uh, winds from the Peruvian coastline over the Eastern Pacific region are moving towards the Western Pacific region and they are moving from high pressure to low pressure. Now when this happens, it neutralizes the impact of the lower pressure region of the ITCZ. Now when this happens, the winds, the cold winds from the Central Asian countries would not rush at a faster pace towards the ITCZ. They are moving and in a way logged over the Indian subcontinent because now they are not rushing towards the ITCZ. And that is the reason why we are experiencing such harsh winters. These winds coming from the north and the central part of the Asian continent are not dispersing, are not moving out or spreading out of our country that quickly because the effect of the lower pressure region present over here has been neutralized by the, I would say, La Nina phenomenon. And this is the re reason why the Indian subcontinent and India is experiencing harsh winters this year. <sighs> okay, so that was pretty interesting. So well, actually, I enjoyed a lot reading about it, researching about it, and wanted to share this piece of information with you guys. I hope you liked it. I hope that you were able to gain or, you know, find this video useful. I'll meet you again some other day. And till then, yes, keep your sweaters and jackets on. You know, maybe a cup of tea and a cup of coffee along because this cold wave, this type of weather condition is expected to prevail for a couple of more days. So till then, take care of yourselves and I'll meet you some other day with another amazing video.